the film is a wonderfully well thought out thriller that had me attached from the first frame to the last. It's a caper film. It's kind of like a Bond film meets Matrix, I guess would be the tone. There's one thing you should know about me. I specialize in a very specific type of security. Subconscious security. You're talking about dreams. The premise of the story is the characters are able to free themselves of all the physical constraints of creativity. So whatever they imagine can be made real. People are in a dream and then they're in a dream within a dream and then going farther and farther down. So our sound has to reflect that. It needs to feel like it really exists, but quite often the natural physics of what's happening are completely imaginary. Chris is very much the director of the soundtrack. He really likes to be at the mix. He really enjoys it and wants to um, play with lots of different ideas. And he spends most of his time with us during the mix. A lot of directors are busy doing other stuff, so he really focuses on it. He doesn't like namby-pamby stuff. He wants it to be bold and aggressive and startling and fresh and new. Chris is great at encouraging us to push beyond those typical ways of, of dealing with things. He makes these suspenseful movies that will emotionally grab you and will sonically do the same. Whether it's through some deep, unique sound design elements or whether it's through some effective score or whether it's through even the simplicity of, of the mix, he understands that dynamic and how to utilize that dynamic. Let me ask you a question. You never really remember the beginning of a dream, do you? You always wind up right in the middle of what's going on. I guess, yeah. So how did we end up here? The sequence is one in which two characters are sitting in a cafe and the world around them begins to disintegrate. Three basic layers are the literal debris, explosions, the things that we see happening around them. The subtext sound, the sound that's, the, the, the energy that's causing all this to happen. The third element is more a uh, fanciful kind of low-end moans and whale sounds and other kind of organic sounds that have been pitched and manipulated. The idea is to make it frightening. So that was our goal. We did a huge amount of recording. A lot of weapons, a lot of vehicles, cars, snowmobiles, a lot of skiing. We also did some recording in the field of subwoofers playing back low-end tones generated off an oscillator. We recorded those in spaces so we got a natural acoustic feeling to it. It was a long ongoing process and we were constantly recording stuff. We really wanted to try to get as much real-world material as we could. We always record using a lot of different mic positions, and with guns it's especially important because you're able to pick up different frequencies based upon the proximity to the, to the weapon. And we find that if we actually tape a lavalier to the gun and have half a dozen mics at different proximities out to maybe 200 yards, when we bring those into Pro Tools, obviously the files don't quite line up, but we, if we manually line them up, it creates a sound that no one could hear in any one of those one spots. It's an amalgamation of, of all those perspectives. So it creates a, a really massive sound that also has the detail of the close mics and the low end energy and power and reverb and decay of the distant mics. If there's one thing that Chris really likes to do when it comes to dialogue is that he'll commit to his production track. He does everything that he can to get the, the best and the cleanest recordings, um, even in the, the toughest of circumstances. And in this movie, there's a, a lot of environments that have some challenging setups, whether it's snow or rain or whatever it is. And 98% of this movie, possibly more, is uh, utilizing the production dialogue recordings. So.
So, Saito, we can train your subconscious to defend itself from even the most skilled extractor. How can I do that? Because I am the most skilled extractor. I know how to search your mind and find your secrets. I know the tricks, and I can teach them to you so that even when you're asleep, your defense is never down. Look, if you want my help, you're gonna have to be completely open with me. I need to know my way around your thoughts better than your wife, better than your therapist, better than anyone. If this is a dream and you have a safe full of secrets, I need to know what's in that safe. In order for this all to work, you need to completely let me in. I've worked with these people for years, and we have a really tight team. The fact that we've worked together for so many years makes the work much more satisfying. If you work with a team, you know how to talk to people, you know how people are going to talk to you, you know how to communicate, you know how to get a job done. And I like the fact that we're all working together towards, you know, finishing a, you know, a good sounding track.